Who's the oldest person you've dated? Dated? Dated or had sex with? Both. It don't matter. I think the oldest I probably had sex with was definitely in, in their 50s. Was that for money? Shut up. Hi. Who are you two and how do you know each other? I'm Austin and uh, I am Craig's adopted son. How old were you when you were adopted? I was 13. My mother was a uh, drug addict and it was taken away from my parents and was given custody to my parents now. When did you start considering Craig a father? Uh, probably about two years. When Austin first came to us, it was hard for us to get him to talk about things. It took him almost a year, year and a half before he would even talk to us. Even he watched us, he started to trust us, and then he started blooming into this beautiful, amazing, artistic creature. What do you guys think of the label queer? I don't have a problem with it. I will use the word alt-life. Queer and faggot have a painful connotation to me, but the new generation, I you absolutely have adopted it as a banner, if you will. Do you want to get into it? Yeah, let's play this game. Austin, can you ask your father this? Uh, who was your first queer crush? Roblo was my first crush on a guy about last night, the movie. I think there was a scene where he was walking down the stairs to get the mail or something in his tidy whities I'm telling you right now, when he walked out in those tidy whities that, that blew my mind. You took that VHS tape into your room. <laughs> uh, are you a top, bottom, and verse? I really, like, can we just, Move on to the next. <laughs> Cheers, kid. <laughs> Austin, what is the queerest thing I do? <laughs> now it's <we're> said. <laughs> Craig used to be a very well-known drag queen named Amy Zahn. What is the uh, queerest thing that you've seen me do? Um, besides your butt flaps on Instagram, I, I a lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, can we say that on here? <laughs> The queerest thing, you know, Austin. I'm just going to tell you this right now, son. I, I don't, I don't think of you on those terms. I think of you as my kid who's out there living his life. Who's the oldest person you've dated? Dated, dated, or had sex with? Both. It don't matter. I think the oldest I probably had sex with was definitely in, in their fifties. Was that for money? Shut up. Oh my God. You know, I'm going to tell you what. Fifty-year-olds on the West Coast really know how to preserve themselves. Um, <laughs> you need to put that down. Put that down. Put that down. Do you have any sex advice for me? Absolutely. But enjoy it. It's not bad. It's one of the most potent and beautiful things two people can ever share. Well, sometimes it's more than two. Do you think you raise me differently because I'm queer? If the gauge is heterosexuality is the norm and the way we raised you in an alt life is not, absolutely, we did not raise you normal. How would you have raised me differently if I was straight? I think that I would have watched you and as things came through, I would talk to you about that. Whatever I think you needed to know, I would have shared regardless of your sexuality. What's one of your roots? A moment you were young where you realized you were queer. That was part of the reason why we had like some family issues. I was like noticeably gay from a very young age, like four or five years old with my biological family and wanting to play dress up and like playing house. And I was like, I want to be the mom and I don't want there to be another female. And my mom and my biological father were very um, hateful and kind of uh, like homophobic towards me. And so she was like, I hate you, but I have to deal with you. What does queer liberation mean to you? Absolutely, get rid of the word queer. Get rid of, of identifying yourself with a sexuality. That is about 10, 5% of who you are. And do you ever hide your queerness and in what settings? Absolutely. So I am from an area that, you know, same sex adults together was not acceptable. I wouldn't even say so, it's not just acceptable. Some people literally lack the the ability to uh, understand or fathom that. Absolutely, Austin, but guess what? That's their path, and we, we need to let them live that path until their spirit opens up. The stuff that people do here in Seattle, like uh, like the way I'm currently even dressed, I wear tighter clothes and like more, a little more flamboyant. Being there and me dressing like this, or like even like if I was in a relationship with somebody and holding their hands, 
I am actually putting my life at risk. When I was in high school, I used to receive death threats. I remember being at a McDonald's and this, I was like 18, 19. And there was this guy who was like mid fifties, maybe the early sixties, who was throwing food at me and calling me a faggot and how we should all be lined up and shot in the head execution style. Not everyone's like that, but it's more, it's not as safe to be that degree of myself. Craig, you really reacted. Yeah, absolutely. I, I don't want Austin to feel unsafe anywhere. When you hear your son or your kid say they feel unsafe, that's a trigger. Are we gonna carry on a conversation about what he's experienced and what I can do to make him feel comfortable? Absolutely. Do you ever worry about my safety? All the time. There are mean people in this world and if you ever come across a harsh, ignorant person. Years of dedication in a relationship between us both could be snatched out of our lives. I don't know what my world would be like without the thought of you. Absolutely, I worry about your safety, uh, 100%. Oh. Austin was uh, a good parent to you when you were growing up and, uh, oh shit, what could have I done differently? No parent is perfect, whether you're gay, straight, I'm happy for everything that you've done for me, and I would never change anything about that. As of right now, where I'm at in my life, I've never been more happy and more comfortable in my own skin. I've always been able to be myself as a result of y'all's upbringing. I'm very grateful for everything you have done, and I love you very much. I love you too. I don't know why that was so hard. Was this good? Yeah. Was this fun? Would you play this? Yeah. Play truthordrink.com. Get drunk with your with your dad. <laughs>